Hi guys, and welcome back to Jojo's Corners, La Esquina de Jojo. If you're new to my channel, hello, how are you? If you're not new to my channel, welcome back. Today, I am coming with another makeup video. I haven't done one of those in a while. So, if you wanna know what did I use to create this makeup look, keep on watching. We are back. So as you can see, as you saw on my um, thumbnail, today I'm going to be playing with the Bloodlust palette. Let me tell you, this palette is huge. Um, I got it last Saturday, but because I've been very congested with a sinus infection that will not leave me alone, um, I wasn't able to record right then and then, but here I am. Um, this is the packaging. I am loving the details, the crown, the blood. Um, I'm loving this packaging, as you can see, it's huge humongous compared to all the or all the other palettes which i am never disappointed about jeffree star in the back we got all the details all the ingredients um and the jeffree star logo this kit logo is a little bit different because it has a snake kind of wrapped around the logo i am loving of course it lets you know um the weight the her, his youtube his instagram and all the information about the palette now let's open this baby this is when you open it this is how it looks it's a it has like a it's a velvet packaging which is amazing it feels so good again the palette is huge not just the packaging so let's take this the palette out i like the fact that this time jeffree star actually took the time to put like a bumper on the palette that way it doesn't get damaged because you know sometime the mail um the usps or fedex or UPS, whoever is delivering, it just are careless about packaging. So I'm I'm happy and I'm glad the fact that they actually took took the time and precaution to add something else to um keep the palette a little bit more safe. Over here it says bloodlust again. So now let's see this palette. I love this beverage feeling. This is it's like a little um it's gold, but I don't know if it's metal. It doesn't sound like metal, but it has the left Jeffree Star logo with the little crown. In the back, once again, it has the Jeffree Star logo with the blood palette. It lets you know his website, where the palette was made, his Instagram, YouTube, etc. Um, I like this versus the clip clippy ones that they have. This one you kind of pull it open and ta-da! This is the palette. It is amazing. The colors are stunning. The side of the mirror is gigantic. Now, don't mind me. I know it looks a little scratched, but I still got the protector on it. These come with a plastic, a very thick plastic, which I don't recall the other, the other palette bringing it, so that is a bonus. And this is how amazing, let me turn it upside down, the palette look to get all those shimmers. Look at all the mats. I think uh, people was a little bit upset thinking that it's gonna be more purple, purples in it, but I personally think the palette look as stunning. You got light purples, you got uh, blue purple. Does that make sense? Kind of like a periwinkle purple, a light purple. You got light shimmer purples. I think they're amazing. And I like these compliment colors that he put, he put on the side now let me talk let me tell you about this one this one it kind of looks black but when you shift the palette kind of looks green with a little bit of pink so this is amazing it's the same as the shimmer as you move the palette around they kind of the color change so once again i love buying jeffree star cosmetics um because he puts a lot of time and effort in it now i'm going to swatch some of the colors um, some of the shimmers so that way you can see it. I know I don't like really believe in some watches, but I want to try something different Okay, so the first color that I'm going to swatch is called beauty sleep. It's this beautiful Beautiful pink that is how it looks and when you move your hand it kind of looks golden It is it is beautiful It's a light pink as you can see it does shift once you move your hand it has like that golden color 
Okay, I know the color is Wet Jewel. That one, that has been one of the colors that have got my attention the most. It's this beautiful pink. It is stunning, stunning. Another color is Swore Enemy. It's like a olive kind of green. Stunning, as stunning. They feel super, super buttery on the touch. Another color, just a little bit more purpley, is Pink Magic. That's how it looks. It is so beautiful. You see this? These colors are stunning. Another color that has some shimmer to it is Executioner. It's like a dark black, but and you can see if I put it this way, it looks kind of pink, but then you can see some some green in it. It's just a sun, and these colors are really, really, really amazing. What other color we have with shimmer? I think betrayal is another color that has some kind of shimmer to it. It's another purple, but a little more darker. That's how it looks. It has a bit of shimmer, not too much. So these are some of the shimmers in the palette. Look at that. Look at that, how stunning. Look at Wet Jewel, how stunning. These colors are just stunning. Okay, so let me just clean my hands, my arm real quick, and then I'll be back and we're gonna see which color are we going to be playing with. Okay, so to prep my eyes, I'm gonna use the P. Louis Base in the shade Rumor 05. I'm just gonna add a little bit to my lid and then I'm just gonna spread that all over my eyelid. Add a little more. I like this because it's kind of like the same shade as my skin complexion. Now, normally I'll go for a lighter shade, but I want to try something different and see if these colors will actually pop up. And I'm just gonna stand that out just because I think I wanna wing it out today, I'm not sure. I'm not trying to do something complicated and I'm gonna stand that all the way to the brow. Oh, and that is it. So the first shade that I wanna to try to use is this shade Blood Queen, which is the darker purple out of the entire palette. And it's matte, of course. And then I want to apply on top of my eyelid and I'm just gonna pack it, pack it, pack it, pack it. I wing it out a little. Now I'm going to start blending. I'm kind of like winging it out a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Trying to blend everything nice and neat. I don't know if you guys see that when I started applying the color, it just stayed stood still there. So I gotta make sure this is very diffused, very good. And I'm just kind of doing circular motion and kind of dragging back and forth. Okay, now with another brush, I'm going to use this Morphe 456. I am going to go to a lighter shade. I'm thinking about taking Debian, which is a lighter purple, just to blend these edges right here. I'm just like a little bit and just put it right on top to blend the edges and make it look a little more smooth, like a smooth trans trans transition. And yes, I'm taking this all the way up to my brow bone. See how it's going from a harsh line to a nice blend situation. I'm just gonna add a little more. 
There we go, kind of wing it out. Now I'm going to go back with a little bit of the Blood Queen, just because as you diffuse the color, you can see like over here is dark. When it comes back to the crease, it's like the color is a little bit gone. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and I'm just gonna get at it right on the crease. And I'm not adding any more of the Deviant color. I'm just, with whatever is on the brush, I'm just kind of going over it. Kind of going over it. That way, you, we don't see no harsh line. I want to deepen up the crease a little bit. So I'm going to add a little bit of Executioner, which is that dark shade right here. It has a little bit of shimmer on it. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. I'm going to go with the uh, shade right here, Dungeon which is a very, very dark purple. And I'm just gonna add it right on my crease, like right on my crease, a little bit. And for that, I'm going to use this BH Cosmetic number nine, taking a little bit, and I'm just gonna add it right, right there on my crease. And I'm gonna wing it out a little, just enough. You see, it's there. And then I'm gonna go back and blend it with the Blood Queen. We're just deepening up our crease a little more, that's it. Now I'm going to go back to the Blood Queen with the same brush and I'm just gonna go over that um, dungeon shade that we just applied. That way we kind of like blend everything together. I'm not adding nothing else, just kind of making sure everything is blend. I'm going to add oh, a little more of the dungeon shade. I'm going, I want to create like a wing effect on it and I'm just dragging it out. Um, you can, for this, you don't have to use this big one. You can use a flat brush and kind of just place it where you want it. But because I'm going to clean it later, then I'm just gonna leave it like that, you know? Now I'm gonna go back to the blood cream brush. Kind of buff everything together. You can see the dark, but you can also see how it just transitioned from one to another. Now I'm going to go back to Deviant and I'm just gonna buff everything nice and neat. I think it's looking pretty good so far. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my crease off camera and then I'll be back. And we're back, I already cut my crease using the same Pidoui base. Now I'm going to get, take this shade over here, the Shimmer Shake called Pink Magic. And I'm going to start applying that in the out of, like half to my eye towards the outer corner. And I'm not gonna wet my brush or nothing. It picks up very nicely. And I'm just going to apply right that. Oh my gosh, these shimmers are to die for. I don't want to drag it, therefore I'm doing like tapping motions. And I'm just going to like drag those shimmers out a little bit into the outer corner. Now I'm going to use another flat brush 
and i'm going to go with the shade over here wet jewels which you know that shade is like boom bomb i'm here and i'm not going to wet my brush or anything i'm just going to grab it didn't pick up much on the brush but we're going to see and i'm just going to apply it right start it in the inner corner of my eyes and dragging it and kind of blending it with the um, pink magic shade that we just added have it now i'm going to do the other thing to the other side a lot of times this shimmers is better off you doing it with your hand but if you have nails unless you don't have no nails it's very hard to apply it in the in a corner of your eyes but you just have to make sure you go over it a couple times that way you make sure that your eyelid is covered and to the saturation that you like and there you have it. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go back with the BH Cosmetic and a little bit of Dungeon. And I want to make sure these two shades are blend over here. That you don't see a line. If you see, once you use the shade and you kind of drag the, sh the color out, you can see like the shimmer kind of goes towards the matte color, which is super cute. And there you have it. Now, I'm going to finish the rest of my face off camera. I'm gonna apply some falsies and then I'll be back so we can finish this makeup look. Okay, and I'm back. I finished the rest of my face. I haven't added no highlighter, no lips. So now let's finish the bottom of or eyes or waterline. Um, the lashes that I'm using is the Lily Lily Lashes Plus Boxy Charm. This came in a Boxy Charm a couple months ago, and this style is CEO. Are dramatic, but not like super dramatic. Okay, so for my bottom lashes, I really want to use um, this um, shade right here. It's called Vile Serpent, and I'm going to use a, a flat brush. This is from Malamar Cosmetics, and I'm going to apply really really close to my waterline. Oh, this, close, this color is so pretty. And I'm going to mix that color with the shade that we probably should use, Vivian. I'm gonna get out of my comfort zone here and I'm just gonna blend those two. Now to make our waterline pop a little more, I'm going to use this Shockway Neon Eyeliner from LA Girl, and this is the shade Fresh, which is a light color. It's like a light turquoise or turquoise. And I'm going to add that to my waterline. Just to make it pop a little more. This glide in so good. Now I'm going to do the same to my other side, which is with a flat brush, very close to my waterline. Then I'm going to go back with this Morphe 506, which should look like this. And I'm going to take a little more of Divian and I'm just gonna buff that in and make sure it's nice and bland. I'm going to add a little more of this, the Shock Wave eyeliner. Now for my bottom lashes, I'm going to use this Hank and Henry eyeliner. 
it's very, very little. This is perfect for the bottom lashes. If you're like me, then when you're doing your bottom lashes, it's like you tend to mess up. This um, mascara is perfect. And this is how we're looking so far. Now for that pop on my inner corner, I think I'm going to go with a little bit of Your Majesty. Let me just find a pointy brush. Let me use this one right here. Which is that matte color. It's white. Okay. All right. This is what I'm talking about. I'm dragging it up and now a little bit. Let me add a little bit more to my left side. Then on top of that white, I want to add a little bit of this shimmer shade. It's beauty. It's called Beauty Sleep. Okay, this shade is a little dusty. She's a little dusty. And there you have it. Now I'm gonna finish um, my lips and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back. This is the final look. It looks all completed. I ended up adding a little bit of beauty sleep on my brow bone and I added some highlighter and I did my lips and this is a dead completed look. What do you guys think? I am obsessed with this palette. Um, the only thing that I could say about this palette that it might be not so positive is the fact that it's not travel friendly um i personally don't think that if i go anywhere i'll be packing this but um it can stay safe at home i think there will be um this will take a lot of space in a luggage i mean i will put, personally will put it in luggage but other than that i mean i love the packaging the colors are as stunning as stunning as stunning look at all these beautiful colors i like how the, all the colors complement each other even though the people were a little upset because you got some reds in it you got some um neutral colors i think all the com all the um colors in this palette they complement each other i think jeffree star did an amazing amazing job as usual i think he put, he put a lot of time and effort um the formula is just amazing the shimmers are super buttery compared to the other ones um they're past palettes but i gotta say that none of the jeffree star palettes have disappointed me by far um and these say less it is amazing if you did, wasn't able to get your hands on this when you're stuck i think you should um other than that like i said his products have never ever disappointed me i am obsessed um with his stuff i own four of his palettes and i cannot wait until he released more makeup i have noticed that the more i practice makeup the better it turned out to be i mean i'm not on makeup artist by any means you know i always mention that throwing that right there but i am loving how i'm able to create i'm able to create more um don't forget if you like the video give the video a thumbs up if you like what you see and you haven't subscribed to my channel hit the subscribe button um i am going to continue to make videos just bear with me if you might if you're a subscriber um i just trying to get over the sickness like i said but other than that i'm back and i'm better than ever <laughs> um and with that being said it will be on to the next one